What is up YouTube? Thrift School over here in the office going through CDs and uh, I wanted to show you guys around a little bit. I've been making some changes in here. I got rid of um, that huge shelving thing I had here. You guys can see there used to be my really disorganized shelf. Now there's just this disorganized shelf. Uh, I moved everything to it. I'm going to be organizing it but what was on the bottom shelf of that shelf here was a whole bunch of CDs that I was meaning to go through for a long time and I'm sitting here scanning through them and I figured, you know what, let's make a video on this. I'm actually finding some really good stuff. This is a death pile item for me, guys. CDs can be great. I sell a lot of them. Same thing with DVDs. But one of the main issues with them is a lot of times the cases are broken and the discs are scratched. Now, I do have a disc cleaner, which is under here with this stuff that I've been pulling out of boxes. And all of that needs to be uh, taken care of as well today. But all of this is my main priority at the moment. We also have an FBA shipment going out. So FBA here, other stuff here. I figured I'd be going through the CDs and then whichever ones are worth it, I could just move on over to the FBA pile and then all of that can get out of here ASAP. So I like my new little backdrop. I don't know what I plan on doing with it yet. I think I was gonna uh, move a chair to the corner there and I could film videos and just have a cool little backdrop. I think I'm gonna end up putting shelves here. You could see there used to be shelves up on the wall and uh, when we moved in here and I ripped them off and I never painted over it because I just didn't feel like it. And I don't really care if it looks like that or not as long as I put other stuff up on the wall. Um, this is all inventory that I have listed at the moment. All right, let's get into these. I'll start scanning some and I'll show you guys some prices. So here's one of the first ones I scanned. You can see it has a broken case down there at the bottom. So I need a replacement for it, which I do have. Um, I've just been putting this off because most of these need replacement cases. Now here is the CD itself. It has a bit of a high rank. People ask me, what kind of rank do I like in music or movies? I like to stay under 300,000 for music. For movies, I like to stay under 200,000. This is a bit of a higher rank, but take a look at this price. $23.97, I'll make $16 just on this one CD. That is pretty awesome. There's also another great one right here, this Rick Nelson Legacy Collection. Flip it over and I'll show you guys how I scan it. We'll go back, I'll hit the little scan icon. This is just the Amazon Seller app. We will scan in. There it is, it pops up, much better rank under uh, that 300,000 mark. This one's only 162,000. And there we go, $43. I will make just about $30 on that. So we're at about $45 in just these two. I have all of these and each one of these to go through. This was death pile stuff, guys. And uh, I think it's, it's time to stop putting it off. These are all ones I've already scanned right here before I decided to make the video. Um, each one of these selling for, you know, between like two and $5 profits. So not a lot of money there. Camera was auto-focusing all over the place. Um, <laughs> like between two and five dollar profits, not a lot of money in each one of these, uh, which is okay. So I still like to send them off to Amazon, but you could see they just have these little stickers on the bottoms. That one, the one in the middle has a slit in the top. And I'm sure some of the discs are not in the best condition, so they'll have to be cleaned. So the ones where I'll only make a buck or two, I really have to decide um, do I want to go get a case, replace the case, run it through the disc cleaner for two minutes? Is it really worth all that time? Uh, I'm not really sure yet. So we're going to keep scanning through this. I'll show you guys exactly my process. So this one doesn't have a barcode, so I'm sticking those off to the side for now. This one, no barcode. Stick it off to the side. And I'll look each one of those up later. No barcode. And this one has a barcode. It's a little covered, but we might be able to scan it in. So let's try to scan it in. There we go, it picked it up. Hopefully it's a good one. All right, so here's the issue. There's no rank showing up. It has one review, it might have sold a long time ago. Used only $5, I'll only make 40 cents. So this is uh, trash and it stinks because I can't even use this case for one of the ones I need to replace because this case is all beat up too. So this, what I like to do with my CDs is I'll pull them out and I will list lots of 100 CDs, ones that aren't really worth it for me to sell on Amazon. And you can see them here on the shelf. And I sell these for about 15 to 20-ish dollars, really depending. And um, they sell fairly quick for me, and they ship via media mail. They cost me about three something to ship. So I make about $10 profit, give or take, on 100. I'm only getting about 10 cents per disc, but I'm totally cool with that. 
And yeah, so that's something you could do. You could also scan things into declutter, but declutter needs perfect cases, no scratches on the disc, things like that, um, which this stuff isn't really good qualifying for. So let's just keep going through it. All right, we're going through this back row now, and I just finally found another one with a barcode, Hank Williams. So let's scan him in, just like so. And it'll take a second for it to load up. And there he is. Okay, this one's pretty good. 88,000 music, which means it'll sell pretty quick. See, $9.95. I will make $4 profit on him. That is super sweet. Now, a lot of people I get in the comments asking, well, what about shipping? I gotta take into account shipping. Well, I'm selling these items via Amazon FBA. So all of these and all of that stuff will go into a box to Amazon. And then Amazon will then store everything for me and ship it out to the customers when they purchase them. So my cost per shipping is just the one big box into Amazon. So per item, it's only costing me about a quarter or less to ship things in. So it's probably less. So I don't really take into account shipping. Um, for bigger items, sure I can, but for these smaller items, it really doesn't end up costing me much at all. Looks like we have a bunch of barcodes in a row, so I will scan them all for you guys. Quick, 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 and let's see what we get. Oh, here's a good one, but that rank is very high. So, no reviews, 612,000 music. It is selling for $14, though. This could be something that you want a merchant fulfill. So I just list it instead of sending it into Amazon's warehouse and then I just stick it on my shelf. When it sells, I ship it off myself. And then it would actually cost me that $2.80 in media mail shipping. So that's not a big deal because it still sells for 14 bucks. I'll still make some decent money on it. Not sure what I'm gonna do about this yet. I might even just send it off to Amazon and hope it sells. CDs don't take up a lot of storage space in Amazon so you don't get charged too much for it sitting there. So this might be something that I still ship off anyways. All right, let's scan the next one. All right, here is a great rank, 5,800 in music. You can see $8.67. I will make $3.07 on this guy really easily. There is another $3 profit. All right, now here's an issue. This barcode has a punch hole in it, so I'm going to have to type that number in. Now, I do have a little barcode scanner that would be able to get up there when I list it into Amazon, but for right now, I'm just going to type it in. So same situation, I bring up my Amazon seller app. Instead of clicking the scanner icon, I just type in the numbers. Here we go, guys, another interesting item here. This is brand new sealed. But take a look at this, there is a little crack on the back of the case. Now, I do know a lot of people that will still send this in as new, because honestly, that could happen in shipping and you could get away with it, right? I don't like to mess with that, so it is kind of a shame. You could see the good rank, 40,000 in music, selling for $19, but used, still selling for 16 bucks. So instead of me making $11.83 profit, I'll make $9.41, which I am still happy with and somebody is going to be getting a brand new CD for the used price. And all they have is a tiny little crack on the back of the case. So that's not bad at all. Stick that off to the side and keep on scanning. Oh, barcode, cool. So I'm almost done with the box and my pile just fell over, but I wanted to show you guys a really good little home run here. This is the best of Crystal Gale, really clean case, which is awesome. And you can see right there, Selling for $18.99, that is an $11 profit. Check it out, brand new, selling for $45, holy cow. But that's still an $11 profit on her right there. And right after that, there was another really great one uh, before my whole pile fell over, right here. And this barcode had a punch hole in it, so I scanned the cover. And when you scan the cover, it works kind of the same. It'll pull up the listing. And there is the listing, and take a look at this. A little bit of a higher rank, but it's still under that 300,000. Used, we're coming in at $43.94, a $33 profit. So just in those two, where did I put it? There it is, Crystal Gale and this one. We are looking at what, 30, 40, like $45 just about in these two. So, I mean, just in those two and the first two, we're at about $100 in profit and then all the smaller ones in between. I believe this one was going for a good amount also. I'll rescan it for you guys. And uh, I mean, we're looking just in this first little box over $100. Yep, take a look at that. Decent rank, 182,000 used, coming in at $24. I'll make 16.58. So. 
there is some good money in CDs still, guys. I get a lot of questions, people saying, can you still make money in CDs? People still buy CDs? That's crazy. Yeah, they do, and I sell them all the time. I remember last year I was way heavier in CDs. This year I'm way heavier in video games, like way heavier. My pile that I've shown a few times that I'm sending off to FBA is like 80% video games, and I've just been getting really good deals on them. My margins are actually lower, because I've been doing a lot of online and retail arbitrage when it comes to my video games. Um, but I'm, I'm able to scale so much easier, and they're all brand new sealed. That makes life a lot easier there. Now, I actually do get more returns on video games than I do on things like CDs or movies, things like that. But I still do get returns on everything. It's just the nature of the game. I'd say probably the best thing that I don't get returns on is like kitchenware. <laughs> if I really think about it, I get very few returns in kitchenware, but I get a lot in almost everything else. Amazon, you just get returns like crazy. eBay, I get returns as well. I sell on eBay and Amazon. So we're gonna keep scanning, gonna finish up this box, and then I have to package that FBA shipment because I already completed it, so I just have to finish that. At least I think I did. I might have not. Let's take a quick look. So we are at my computer, and take a look at this. I installed some new RAM, and look at how pretty that is. You can't really see it great on camera, but it goes through all these cool colors, and I thought it would make my computer faster because I know nothing about computers, and it doesn't do anything. Um, I guess I have to upgrade some other parts that I don't know how to do. All right, so we're here in Inventory Lab, and you could see my listings that I am putting up, and you could see my total items down here. I know the screen's a little wonky, but 65 total items. There's my average sale rank, so I, I didn't close out that shipment down there. And uh, you can see my total sales value of $2,003. My total buy cost of $227. It's actually a little bit higher than that. I uh, put zero for a few things because I just haven't added that yet. And then my total net profit of $1,190. So I'm gonna add the CDs to this um, shipment here. And we will know with that $1,190 that it's at whatever is added onto it will just be these CDs. So we will know exactly how much money I am expected to make after fees on these CDs. Cool. So uh, what I'm gonna do is just finish this one box, those other two bins, those ones I know need a lot of work, a lot of disc cleaning, a lot of uh, cases repaired. So let's go through this first box, check all the discs, make sure everything looks good. Then we will add it and see how much money I made just in this small box of CDs that I've been sitting I just left it on the bottom shelf that was where I'm standing right now for months because I've had other things to do and CDs were the last of my priorities, but I figured today let's just do them. But first I have to finish scanning these last five right here and I didn't go over the ones without the barcode so I will do that and these are all good. Uh, there's a few bads over there so let's finish this up. All right, here is the trash box. You could see the good one, the double disker, was completely destroyed inside, so I actually couldn't even sell it. So yeah, all of that, just complete trash. Uh, you know, extra cases that I used, and here is the running total. Here are all the CDs plus those two box sets. We have them all listed. You could see the new total items is 105, with a new net profit of 1547.07. And I did the math on the calculator on my phone, minus that 1190, I believe it was from earlier. It was 1190.85. We are left with 356 dollars and 22 cents in profit. That is after fees. It's not including shipping, but again, to ship all of this off to Amazon, it'll be very cheap per piece. We can knock off, you know, 10 dollars for shipping if we want, right? Plus my purchase price on these. These I had so long ago. I got them in such a massive shipment that. I really don't have much invested in them, or not a massive shipment, but a massive purchase. This is just a small fraction of that. I've already made my money back tenfold over that, right? But we can knock off another $10 if we want uh, for these items. I have probably five to 10 cents in each one of these maybe. So we'll just do 10 bucks to be safe. So we're looking at over $300 profit still. Now, yeah. I do get people asking me if you know, if I take gas into account and taxes into account and mileage and time, yeah, you gotta take all that into account, but gas, next to nothing, UPS store that I bring my stuff to is less than a couple minutes up the road. It's, it's maybe like 
a minute and 45 seconds, right? It's really not far at all. Um, so there and back, after I've dropped the box off, it's maybe a five minute detour of my day. And I'm usually bringing packages already from eBay sales or different FBA shipments. So I'm, I'm always driving around there anyways. Um, so gas is really a non-issue. Time is really a non-issue. Um, mileage is really a non-issue. Now when I'm going thrifting to buy all this stuff, that's a little different because I have to drive to all these different towns. But again, it's really not too big of a deal. You could always knock off 20, 30 bucks, right, for filling up your gas tank. And that's how much it about cost me to fill up my gas tank, about 20 to $30, depending on which car I'm driving. So that's that, guys. I mean, over $300 profit from one little box that was a death pile box. Now, I still have these two to go through. Those will be at a later date because this actually took me a little bit longer than I expected. Uh, not super long, but it did take a little bit of time. These guys were duds, so I'm gonna pop each one out of their cases and I'm just gonna stack those CDs and I think, oh, they were right here. These are another, well, this is another pile that I'm getting started. It's just a bunch of CDs that aren't really worth it. So I'm just waiting till I get a hundred of them and then I will bubble wrap it up and stick it down there with those and it will be another about $10 profit. So that's what I've been doing with the duds. It's been working fine for me. Now I have tried lotting CDs up via genre. So maybe a bunch of country can go in one, a bunch of the same band could go in one, but these are all really random. Debbie Boone, I don't know. These are all really random. We have some Spanish music. So I think it's just gonna be easier for me to just take the discs out, throw out the cases, and uh, just lot them up that way. Uh, it, they take up less space because they do sell quicker than me lotting up like a lot of 10 country music for $10 or $20 or whatever. So I'm okay with doing it. It's really no big deal. So all in all, about a $330 profit in very little work. Now, anybody can do this, really. If you can't sell CDs on Amazon, it does make it a little more difficult. You can sell them on eBay. It's a lot more work and a lot more costs in shipping. So I recommend trying to get ungated in selling CDs. My memory card just ran out of memory, so I just spent like 15 minutes transferring over all the files. Not really sure where I left off, but I know I was saying that you should try to get ungated in CDs or any media, find a wholesaler, find a distributor or something, buy those CDs in bulk, buy those DVDs in bulk, get the invoices, send them to Amazon. It is a process, it is costly, but you will make good money. Now let's say you gotta spend $1,000 to get ungated in CDs or DVDs. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of money. Yeah, for some of you, it might not be worth it, right? So you gotta not do this. Maybe you just wanna sell this kind of stuff on eBay. But if the $1,000 isn't too big of a hit, I made three, I'm, well, I didn't make it yet, but I'm going to make a, over $300 in just that small box of CDs. And again, I have a lot more to go through. And this is just a small fraction of the amount, I just sold something on eBay, of the amount of CDs and DVDs and stuff I sell every single day. Let's see what I sold over on eBay real quick, and then we will call the video quits. We actually have three orders that have come through. Let's see. Hey, I sold a lot of these photo slides that I've been selling. I actually got all of these for free. I probably have 10,000 of them. I'm selling them in lots of 100 for 15 bucks, and they ship via first class mail, so that's nice. We sold a physique magazine from 1951 for $20. That's not bad. And then we sold a copy of Pokemon Sapphire for 40 bucks. So, not bad. Those are all sales that. Uh, these two came in overnight, and then this one just came in right now. So I don't sell a lot on eBay, but I sell enough to make some good extra money. The majority of my money comes in through Amazon. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions at all. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is Thrift School, signing out. See ya.